courage and perseverance are two words which summarize what Jesus says in the gospel text of today. Crowds were following Jesus, but because crowds were following him, it did not mean that they were following his way of life. Most were following him because he was working stupendous deeds, because he was working miracles, because he was a man who was eloquent in his words. They hung on his lips, they were amazed at what he could do and that is why the larger majority were following him. And so Jesus turns to those who are following him and asks them and invites them to a genuine following. And this genuine following is that if they wish to become a disciple, if they wish to follow the Lord as they ought to, they must be prepared First, to deny themselves. Denial of self means to count the self as nothing. Denial of self means that I consider myself as less than others. Denial of self leads to humility. Denial of self leads to prayer. Denial of self leads to union with God. When I realize that I am nothing before God. When I realize that I am a non-entity and no one before God, when I deny myself, then I realize who I really am. It is only after denying myself that I can take up the challenge as Jesus is used to take up my cross. Because if I have denied myself, then the cross is not heavy. It is only when I regard the cross as my cross and my burden, when I bring the I in the middle, the I in the center, myself and me, that is when the cross becomes heavy to bear. And that is why Jesus is very clear that before carrying the cross, you got to deny him. So this genuine following to which he is inviting us is the denial of self. And after one has done that, one can genuinely follow. That takes courage. Because which one of us would like to consider ourselves as nothing? So many of us are filled with pride. We are better than they are. We are more superior to them. And we are this and we are that. And Jesus is inviting us not merely to be taken up with the spectacular and extraordinary events that he worked. He is inviting us to be taken up with his person. He was able, even though he knew his position as God's only son, he was aware to give up that sonship in the service of of others. He was aware that denial of self meant that God was above everything. And if he denied himself, he could take up his cross to which he invites each of us today. The second point is perseverance. In persevering, Jesus gives an example of a person who begins to build a tower. Unfortunately, that person who began to build did not take into consideration how much money he or she had before starting the work and realized when the tower was only half built that there was no more money, that there were no more resources and the tower was left incomplete. And people passed by that way and said about the person, this person began to build and was unable to complete. He gives another example about a king who has got 10,000 soldiers. That king who has 10,000 soldiers is about to go to war with another king who has 20,000. 
But this king, who has a lesser number, has got to sit down and ask himself whether he is able with 10,000 to overcome the king who has 20,000. If not, he does not start the war. If he knows he is going to lose and his men are going to be killed out of concern for them, he will sue for peace. This is the meaning of perseverance. That I am aware before I take up a responsibility whether I have the capital to complete it and if I don't, I make alternate arrangements like the king makes an alternate arrangement. If I am foolish like the person who began the tower not to be able to make my adjustments, not to be able to persevere, then I will be regarded as someone who began with a bang but ended with a whimper. This is what many of us do and many times in our lives. And so the challenge and the call of the gospel of today is first for the courage to follow and to follow the Lord by denying self and to persevere in that following, knowing that the Lord leads to life. Will you have the courage to deny yourself and then take up your cross? Will you persevere in your following the Lord?